Hi, my name is Sarah, and this quick start video is intended to help you set up and use your new Phantom Miro C110 camera quickly and easily. Along with your new Vision Research camera, you should have also received a power supply with an AC power cord, an Ethernet cable, the PCC software installation disk, and a copy of the Phantom Miro C110 user manual. Before setting up your camera, you should have a general idea of what you will be recording, how your camera will be placed, and if you have enough light. We will begin by preparing your computer for installation. You must have either Microsoft Windows 7, 8.1, or 10 already installed and all firewalls must be turned off. Now we are going to set your IP address. Keep in mind the following steps may vary. However, phantom cameras require this step in order to communicate with the computer. Open your Windows control panel, go to Network and Internet, then go to Network and Sharing Center, and choose Change Adapter Settings. From here, choose Local Area Connection, then go to its properties. Then choose Internet Protocol version 4 and select Properties. Set the IP address to 100 dot one zero zero dot one zero zero dot one and set the subnet mask to two five five dot two five five dot zero dot zero you will now place the pcc disk into your computer and install the software follow the on-screen instructions PCC will create three shortcuts on the desktop automatically. To hook up your camera, you will need the camera, lens, power supply cable, and ethernet cable. Begin by attaching your lens to your camera. If you need help determining which lens to use, Vision Research provides a lens calculator on our website at www.phantomhighspeed.com. Then connect your power supply cable to your camera's power connector. Attach your ethernet cable to your camera and computer. Then open PCC. Now, go to your Manager Control tab in PCC, located on the right side of your screen. Go to the Cameras folder, then double-click on the camera to be used, which is the serial number located on top of your Miro C110. Once you choose the camera, click the Live tab in PCC. Now I will show you how to change your settings, such as resolution, sample rate, or frame rate slash speed, exposure, etc., and perform a current session reference, which is better known as a CSR. Click on Cine Settings to define your parameters. Set the resolution to your required width and height. The software provides you with a list of predetermined settings to ease in the setup process, or you can enter the required value in the data entry field. Then choose your required sample rate and exposure time. Then adjust the f-stop or aperture of the lens. PCC also allows you to make adjustments as you go. For more help, our website also provides calculators to assist you in determining the appropriate sample rate and exposure to use. Under the image range and trigger position optioning, leave the post trigger setting set to zero or the last field set to zero. Next, to perform the CSR, cover the lens of your camera until the screen is pitch black. Then select the CSR button under Cine settings on the PCC software. Remember, this will have to be done every time you set up your camera for a new session or any time you change your settings. Since this is a color camera, I need to perform a white balance adjustment to the camera. To perform the white balance, 
locate an area on the image that represents white and right click. Then click white balance in the pop-up window. The white balance adjustment will be performed automatically. We are now ready to capture or record a slow motion video or cine. Click the capture button on PCC to begin recording. At the end of the action, click the trigger button to stop. In this last part, you will work in the PCC program to review and edit the recording, then save your cine to your computer. Click the Play tab in PCC, then use the control buttons to locate the first image where you want the cine to begin. Once you find it, click the Mark In button, which is the right-facing bracket underneath the video playback scroll bar. Then locate the last image you want of the cine and click the Mark Out button. Next, click on the Play, Speed, and Options drop-down menu and click to enable Limit to Range. Then click Jump to Start. Lastly, we need to save the cine to your computer. First, review the edited cine. Then click the Save Cine button at the bottom of the Play tab. In the Save Cine window, navigate where you want to save it. Then enter a name for the file. From the Save as Type pull-down menu, select the Cine RAW file format. Then click the Save button to begin downloading the Cine file from the camera to the computer's hard drive. Optionally, open the saved file in PCC, then play your video to confirm the save process. So that concludes our Miro C110 guide, where you learned how to install the PCC software, set up your new Miro C110 camera, and create your very own Cine. Congratulations on your first Cine, and thanks for watching. For more information on furthering your knowledge on PCC, you can go to our YouTube page for all of PCC tutorials. For in-depth Phantom Operations, Vision Research offers Phantom Operations certification training. Please visit our training webpage at www.phantomhighspeed.com slash service and support slash training. Or contact your local sales representative who can be found in the Contact Us drop-down menu. Contact support with any more questions or concerns.